Hey guys, I want to do a review of this new leather dress belt that I bought from Beltox is the brand. This is an Amazon buy and it takes a lot for me to get motivated enough to do a product review like this. But because I shopped around for so long for a belt like this and I had actually bought one or two other things that were kind of similar to this and I was frustrated with them because uh, they were all very cheap and I knew they weren't going to last. They didn't look that good. And so I just wanted to, I wanted to plug this, this Beltox product big time because this is, I think something that's kind of overlooked on Amazon. I don't, they certainly don't have the, the amount of reviews and probably the sales that the other more popular belts seem to, to garner. But if you're in the market for a ratcheting belt or a dress belt that looks something like this, and so it doesn't have the holes in it, um, this is such a, a an awesome thing that, that they've come up with in this day and age. I, I can't stand belts now that do have the holes, the old system, because uh, they just look really bad really quickly. But if you're looking for something like this, first of all, I wanted to begin by telling you that this is actually, it's not a ratchet belt at all. I think the description even describes it as a ratchet belt, but first of all, it is not a ratcheting belt in the same way that some of those, like the nylon ones, and there's, there's certainly a lot of other leather looking ones out there that are ratcheting belts, and they have like this track thing um, on the inside of the belt and there's a clicking system that holds it in place. But this belt uh, does not work like that. So it's more of a, um, it's actually like a little break. Uh, it's hard to, hard to see this, but um, this is a little rubber thing and it just provides friction with the, the other side of the belt to hold it in place. So it's not at all a ratchet. So if you're looking for a belt that you can really like cinch down and make very tight, this is actually not um, for you. But I just bought this. I wanted it to be a, a dress belt, more or less. I just wanted it to look good. And so, if you're looking for a belt that you're you're really needing to like hold your pants up with, then then this is not the belt for you because all this this little rubber thing does it just kind of keeps the belt in place and and cinches it up tight enough to just make it look clean and and um, you know closed up on your waistline and what have you. But uh, it's um, as I said, just just more a a specifically a dress belt that's just. I just kind of think of it like for cosmetics, really. Uh, hopefully your dress pants or, or a pair of pants you might wear this with are, are going to fit you well enough that you really don't need a lot of support from your belt. So this will do the job if that's like, you know, what you're looking to do. And that, that's certainly what I was looking for. I, I intend to wear this with my suits and like dress pants and even some jeans that are tighter fitting that just really doesn't need a belt. But you just want that look because it finishes it off, finishes it off. So uh, first thing, not a ratchet belt. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about the, the, this belt here is that I I shopped around for so many of them and many of them are like very, very cheap quality. And you probably know what I mean. You know, a lot of belts out there, they have this really kind of actually like plasticky looking outer layer on both sides and they're just sandwiched with, you know, it sandwiches like this kind of like styrofoamy, like really cheap crap. Like I, I'm sure you guys have had belts like that before and they wear down and really fast on you. And I hate that. I really try to go out of my way to buy like a full, like all the way through piece of leather for the, the belt uh, portion here. So this, this really surprised me. This is definitely that. I mean, hopefully you can see this. There's, there's none of that sandwich structure. I mean, this is just like a raw, like through and through piece of leather. Um, it's hard to tell, of course, without holding it in your hand, but um, just trying to convey that to you. This is this is really nice, thick leather, and they actually have it finished off really nicely. It came in a in a nice protective bag, and it's it was all shiny. And I think this thing is going to look good for for a good time to come. So um, that's a selling point. And then the last part that really surprised me about this belt and is a big positive is that once again, a lot of those other cheaper belts, I mean, they look nice online. You're never really quite sure how good that, that buckle is actually going to look in real life when you, when you get it in front of you. But I was so surprised by this. I mean, once again, hard to tell without you actually touching it, but this is a heavy, nice, like thick, proper piece of metal here. And even the, um, just the, the shine of it and the look of it, I think it looks really expensive. It's it's to me this is like a premium type of product, and it's certainly at this price point. I mean this this just blew me out of the water. This is a really nice, um, just nice chunk of metal here that that finishes it off the look. Um, the other thing that I really liked about this belt was the fact that you're going to end up with a really clean look when you when you attach it. Um, the way that this works is the 
this portion of the belt actually goes behind, right? So when you're wearing it on your waist, you actually have this like, um, you won't have that little tail sticking out. It's just like a really neat, interesting, clean look that it's different from every other belt you probably own right now. And I think it, it makes the belt look really sharp and it kind of reminds me of like, you know, kind of like a James Bond looking thing. So I thought that was, um, that was really cool and is definitely a selling point about it. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. Oh, the last thing that I wanted to make mention of, I, I just got the belt and I haven't um, worn this yet, but I, I saw a couple of the reviews on Amazon talking about this. Um, sometimes people were describing these little screws would back out on them and then it, it undoes this, this kind of sandwich here that's going on. But if that happens to you, just, just put a dab of super glue in there first and then re-screw the, the, um, the screws back into their holes there. And this will will stay in place just fine, I'm sure. And while, while I'm talking about other reviews that people made, uh, there was a, a couple people that were talking about just they felt like the belt like stuck kind of far out from their waist when they had it on. And, and some people claimed that it looked really awkward. I mean, there is like, you know, let's, let's call this maybe, I don't know, at most like, I don't know, just over a half half inch to three quarters of an inch of, of um, width here that like when it's sitting on your waistline there, like, yeah, it sticks out a little bit, but it's nowhere near as bad looking as I thought it was going to be. And it's kind of hard to, to know this, of course, until you actually see it on your body. But I'm a six foot one, about 170 pound guy. So I'm kind of, you know, you know, maybe uh, medium sized stature, let's say. And I don't think this belt looks, looks big or awkward or chunky, or it doesn't, I don't think it sticks off of my waist at all, like to the point where people are going to notice it and think that it looks cheap or funny or unfinished or anything like that. So, uh, I think you should buy this belt. If you were looking for something like this, hopefully this gives you a whole lot more detail on what this belt is and what it is not. So, uh, if you like the product and you appreciate the review, if you want to uh, use the affiliate link down below, I'll include that in the description and you can pick one of these up on Amazon. I, at the time I, I got this, I think I paid $29.99, which, which blew me away. Cause once again, I, I had bought another product by a company called, I want to say it was core K O R E. And that was a $60 belt. And I was, I couldn't believe how disappointed I was when I got it because it was just, it was completely cheap materials wise compared to this. And it was another great example of like, you look online, they do such a good job of showing you nice pictures. But when you get that thing home, you hold it in your hand, you put it on, it just, it looks like a cheap belt. And I, I can't stand that. Like if you're looking for something a little more premium, that's going to look good on you and make you look good. So, okay guys, hope that helps you. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.